Um, let's talk about um, those two memories that you have and take it yourself. Uh, when we talk about Marilyn and being created, in a way, you can't just say the studio created her because she created herself also. And something happened with me one day that really illustrated that to me. We were walking down the street, and she had no makeup on. And by the way, she could walk down the street in New York in a scarf, dark glasses, a raincoat. Nobody would look at her. So when I hear all these stars complaining, I wonder if Marilyn Monroe, at the height of her fame, could disguise herself. Why can't they? Anyway, so uh, we're walking down the street, and she turned to me and said, do you want to see me be her? And I thought, who's her? I had no idea what she meant. I said, sure. And she made some inner adjustment that I could only say was the equivalent of turning on a light bulb. The walk didn't change. It's not that she started swinging her hips or doing anything. But she turned on this light bulb. And suddenly people started doing double takes and going, oh my god, is that? Oh yes, it is. It's, and we, she got mobbed and we had to jump into a taxi and run away. So there was something she could do, turn on the juice and do, so it was very deliberate. Even if it took a lot of her life force, remember every, anything you choose to do in life. We've got this bank account of an immune system and where you choose to put your energy, you're using up that bank account. Um, so I'm not sure it's worth it to have people running after you. But the thing, that I realized, and the thing that I respected about her, which, uh, as I talked about, was it was never enough. When I opened in Anne Frank in New York, she, we, we were sharing a room together on Fire Island. And I woke up early one morning, and Marilyn was standing nude at the window looking out at the ocean. And I, well, I was 16 years old, so I was looking at her, oh, I'd love to be like her, you know, sexy and whatever. And she caught, turned around and caught me looking at her. I could feel myself blushing. And I said, oh, Marilyn, uh, I'd give anything to be like you. And she looked at me with real horror. And she said, oh, no, Susie, don't say that. I'd give anything to be like you. People respect you. And I think that Marilyn would have given up a lot of the fame and adulation and being a sex symbol to have been loved and respected while she was still alive.